Hello, you beautiful nerds. So, in case you've been spending the last month binge watching The Boys and neglecting HBO Max, you should know that there's a super new, super creepy, super black show that you should definitely be watching. I mean, it's really black. Like, it's as black as Game of Thrones was white. But don't worry, if you're white, you can still watch this video. The finale just came out, so this seems as good enough time as any to talk about it. So, without further ado, let's have a spoiler free discussion about. But first, a prelude. In the year of our Lord 2016, author Matt Ruff wrote a dark fantasy horror novel called Lovecraft Country that explored the conjunction between the fictional works of H.P. Lovecraft and racism in the Jim Crow era of American South. The HBO Max series serves as a continuation of the story from the novel. I've never read the Matt Ruff book. I wasn't even really aware of its existence until the show came out. H.P. Lovecraft himself was a racist piece of shit, so I never read any of his stuff either. So I went into the show very blind. And after the first 15 seconds of the show, I was already like, wait, did I skip an episode or something? What the fuck is going on in here on this day? I don't think you need to read the book or anything to enjoy the show. It's just very dense and has a lot of layers, which makes it kind of hard to get through. But that doesn't mean it's not good like with cake. But let's talk about what we're talking about here. What exactly is Lovecraft about? The show follows a Korean war vet by the name of Atticus. Him, his uncle George, and his friend Letty embark on an adventure full of magic, monsters, and scary white people in order to find his father and discover the secrets of his family heritage. And that's just the plot of episode one before it gets really fucking weird. I haven't even gotten to the real strange part. My nigga. I'm glad you said this. This show was unbelievably cool. It was refreshingly different and fun, despite being a period piece set in a particularly sad period. I was a little afraid that the show might be bad because it felt like HBO Max was just trying to plug that black hole pun intended, that Watchmen left behind when the creator decided he didn't want to do a second season. But Misha Green has constructed a remarkable series, and I hope we get 10 more seasons of the show. This show's not perfect, so before I talk about all the stuff I loved, I will briefly talk about the things I didn't like. My only real nitpick with the show is the choice of music. The show is set in the 1950s, and it regularly plays modern pop songs or songs that aren't set from the time period. I love Tierra Whack, and I love Frank Ocean, but hearing one of their songs in a show that's set in the 1950s kind of takes me out of it. It's especially bothersome because the score for the show is absolutely incredible. It seriously sucks me into the TV every time that opening title card comes up. Even other times when it's a speech or a spoken word from like Gil Scott Heron or James Baldwin or something like that, it still feels weird because they're from a different time period. I understand the point they're trying to get across, but it's really distracting. But that's my own thing. I've mentioned before how modern pop songs and movies drive me banana sandwich, so I understand how that's not gonna ruin the show for everyone. And to be honest, it didn't ruin the show for me either. Thematically, the show touches on a lot of different topics that are just as relevant today as they would have been in the 1950s. It tackles police brutality, gender equality, gender identity, there's a lot going on. And this is a spoiler free review, so without revealing too much, I want to go over the things that I really liked about the show. Every episode is kind of different and unique in its own way. It almost feels like American Horror Story but good. There's a gay episode, an Indiana Jones episode, a black feminist Afrofuturism episode, there's a ghost house episode. It's like every week the gang had a new scary big bad to deal with. But it also kept the story going so it never felt out of the blue or divergent. Like American Horror Story. I, I don't like American Horror Story. Anyway, the cast blew me away. They all have a great chemistry with each other. The whole crew bounce off of each other well, and the show gives each character a lot of room to shine, including Abby Lee, whose character is the physical manifestation of white privilege, AKA, bad guy. There are also a lot of female directors and writers on this show. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but it really seemed like the showrunner Misha Green made a point to have a diverse crew, and those kinds of decisions show in the finished product. Lovecraft Country Season 1 was phenomenal. I am a big fan of horror and fantasy pictures, so it feels good to be living in an age where black people are reclaiming the genre that they've been historically and systemically been left out of. My ranking, I loved it. Give me more seasons of this and stop making an American Horror Story, please. Thanks for watching my review. Feel free to check out some of the the other stuff I got on the channel. I'll be continuing my review of the entire DC shared universe soon with my review of Batman vs Superman and also got spoiler reviews of Lovecraft Country and Utopia coming out soon too. So keep your eyes peeled. Ew, actually that sounds kind of gross and painful. Just keep, just keep your, um, I mean, I mean just be looking out for it. Have a happy Halloween my little Cthulhu's and may the force be with you.